Hey there, guys. Uh, back for another game here. Uh, this should be uh, May 9th, 1908. Uh, Doves at the Giants. Giants are 16 and 6. Doves at 9 and 13. And uh, the standings look like this. The Cubs have one game up on the Giants. Same number of losses. Cubs have played two more and have won, of course, those two games. Cubs just lost one um, yesterday, so we'll see how they do. We will see them play um, in a uh, couple of days, actually. I think two um, days from now. Um, here is uh, Claude Ritchie for the uh, Doves. And uh, he rolls a 36 for 33. There's a little E roll. Roll is a 13. And um, it's going to be changed to an 18. It's going to be a ground ball over to Bridwell, the shortstop, who boots it. And uh, Richie is on it first. Here's Bill Dolan now. So one air already on the Giants. Dolan rolls a 33 for a 7. That's a single to right center. And there's runners on it first and second now for Joe Kelly. Kelly hitting 238. Uh, no RBIs this season. I, have I not been hitting him high in the order? I might not have been. Only 25 plate appearances. And he rolls a, a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Shannon's got that one gone. Here's Dan McGann. McGann rolls a 61 for a 37. Changed to a 40. That's going to be a little ground ball to second base. And Doyle throws to first for the out. The runners both move up. Two away. Here's Johnny Bates. He rolls a 63 for 31. Fly ball center field. And Seymour's got it. We go to the bottom of the first. The Giants make it out of that without giving anything up. It'll be Roger Bresnahan. And he rolls a 24 for a 13. And he'll strike out one away. Mike Donlan. Donlin rolls a 65 for a 35. That's going to be a uh, foul out over to the left side. Sweeney, the third baseman, has that two away. Fred Tenney now rolls a 41 for a 28 ground ball to short. Donlin throws to first, and we go to the top of the second. The Giants go down quietly. Doc Crandall is on the mound today for the Giants. He's 2-3, two 2.25 two ERA. 272 is a batted against average. Sweeney rolls a 44 for an 8 ground ball to short, and uh, Bridwell has it and on to first, one gone. Here's Ginger Boumont. Rolls a 52 for a 27, ground ball to third. Devlin throws the first, two away. Frank Bowerman rolls a 51 for a nine. There's a single over shore. That's hit number two for the Doves, and that'll bring up uh, Patsy Flaherty. Runner on at first. Pitcher's up there, rolls a 65 for a 35. Foul out, and uh, Bresnahan, the catcher, has got that for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. Art Devlin, to lead this off for New York, rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Kelly's got that, one away. Larry Doyle rolls a 41 for a 28 ground ball to short. Dolan on to first, two gone. Here's Spike Shannon, who rolls a 52 for a 27 ground ball to Sweeney a third, and he throws to first, and we go to the top of the third. Fast moving ball game. Claude Ritchie will lead this off, rolls a 26 for a 30, fly ball left field, and Shannon has that one away. Bill Dolan now rolls a 21 for a 30, another fly ball to Shannon and left, two gone. Here's Joe Kelly, who rolls a 53 for a 17, changed to 19. That's going to be a ground ball over to third base. Devlin throws to first, and we go to the bottom of the third. Al Bridwell comes up for New York, rolls a 16 for a 26, ground ball second base. Richie on to first, one gone. Cy Seymour now rolls a 14 for a 43, fly ball left field, and Kelly's got that two away. Here's Doc Crandall. Rolls a 14 for a 43, another fly ball to left field. Kelly's got that, and we go to the top of the fourth. So very, very quiet game so far. Dan McCann will lead this off for the uh, Doves. Rolls a 46 for a 27, ground ball to Devlin a third, and he throws on to first, one gone. Johnny Bates comes up, and uh, the roll is an 11 for a zero. Here you go. Second roll is a 15 for a two. That'll be a triple to left center field, and that is a problem, of course, for the Giants. That brings up uh, Sweeney. Infield comes in. Sweeney's hitting 183. Bates is does not have an F. Let's uh, bunt. So we're going to try a uh, bunt here in this situation, see what happens. And the roll is a 21 for a 30. It's a good, now it's a foul strike. I, see, I don't know the bunt and hit and run boards as well as I should. We'll try this again. And this time it's a 33 for a 7. That's going to be a single to left field. The runner scores as I forgot to put the bunt back on. Don't worry about it. Sweeney gets the base hit. That scores the runner. That's the important part. It's a one nothing game for the Doves. Here is uh, Ginger Beaumont. And uh, that probably was not the best decision of mine, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Roll for Beaumont is a 45 for a 14, and he walks. And Doc Crandall is having some problems. Um, Frank Bowerman up there now. Runners first and second, only one out. Bowerman's going to bunt. And he rolls a 16 for a 26, and it's a good decision. Bunt to the left side, Devlin has it, throws over to first. The runners move up, so there's two away here for Patsy Flaherty. And he rolls a 21 for a 32 fly ball right field, and Bates has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. one nothing now, Boston. Here's Roger Bresnahan, who rolls a 51 for a 9. There's a single over short. The Giants finally have a base head. That'll bring a Mike Donlin. You better believe we're hitting and running. Rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball to second. Richie throws to first, and Bresnahan moves up. 
Here's Fred Tenney. Two uh, chances for the Giants to tie this game. Tenney rolls a 23 for a 29. Ground ball, first base. McGann flips over to Flaherty, and Bresnahan moves up to third. Two away. Here's our Devlin. And he rolls a 55 for a 9. That's going to be a single through short, scoring the runner. And then Devlin is thrown out trying to uh, move over to second. So we will go to the top of the fifth. It's a 1-1 ball game, and it's Claude Ritchie up there for Boston. Ritchie rolls a 23 for a 29. Come back over to Doc Crandall, who throws the first one away. Here's Bill Dolan. He rolls a 31 for a 9. It pop up this time to uh, the left side. Devlin has that. Two gone. Joe Kelly rolls a 12 for a 24. There's a little E roll. And this time it's a 34 out of the range. So it's a ground ball over to short. Uh, and uh, it's going to be uh, Bridwell who has that. Throws the first. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. One to one ball game, tight ball game, and here's Larry Doyle for the Giants. 247 the average with some power. Rolls a 61 for a 36, change to a 39. It's going to be a strike. Next roll is a 14 for a 43 fly ball left field. Kelly has that one away. Spike Shannon now rolls a 33 for an eight. That'll be a single to left center field, and that brings up Al Bridwell. And here's your question. So <clears throat> do you want to bunt? Do you want Shannon to start running? What do we want to do? Well, let's do a hit and run. I'll do the hit and run because Shannon's got an 11. And here's the roll. It's a 33 for a 7. That's a single. Hit and run single sends Shannon to third, and Bridwell is there on first. And now that brings up Cy Seymour. The infield will come in. And the question now is, again, do we want to hit and run? Bridwell can do it. Let's go ahead and try it. The roll is a 54 for a 45, and that's not what you want with the hit and run on. It's a fly ball to right field. Bates has the catch, and he throws down and began to easily double off uh, uh, Bridwell at first. And so we go to the top of the six, still tied at one. So there you go. The Giants with a golden opportunity to score can't push it across. And here's Dan McGann, top of the sixth inning. He rolls a 46 for a 27. It's a ground ball to Devlin, a third, who throws to first, one away. Now it's uh, Johnny Bates' time. Bates rolls a 45 for a 14. He'll take his walk. That's walk number two given up by Crandall against uh, zero strikeouts. Bates does have the 11. We're going to hit and run. And the rolls a 51 for a 9. So that's going to be a ground ball over to shortstop. Bridwell throws to first. The runner moves up. Two outs. Runner on second. Ginger Bubong rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. And we will go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Here is the pitcher, Doc Crandall. He rolls a 35 for a 23. Change to a 40. That's a foul. And uh, next roll is a 53 for a 21, changed to 17. It's a fly ball to right field, and Bates has that for the out, one away. Roger Bresnahan rolls a 64 for a 38, changed to a 36. That'll be a ball. And his next roll is a 66 for a zero. After that is a 13 for a six. Now, there is a very, very slim chance of this changing to home run. Um, now you know what this means because we've done videos on this. The roll, however, is a 43 out of the range, so Bresnahan ends up with a double, and uh, that will bring up uh, Mike Donlin with a runner on his second base, and the Giants, again, two chances to drive uh, the uh, go-ahead run in. Let's see what Donlin can do. He rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a high pop-up to the uh, second baseman, Richie, for the second out. Two away. Here's Fred Tenney now, seven RBIs. And he rolls a 26 for a 29, so it's a ground ball to first base. McGann has it, flips over to Flaherty, and we go to the top of the seventh. Frank Bowerman will be up here leading it off for the uh, Doves, and he rolls a 16 for a 26. Ground ball, second base is going to be Doyle throwing to first, one away. Patsy Flaherty now rolls a 24 for a 13. He'll strike out two away. Claude Ritchie, now the batter for Boston, rolls a 21 for a 32. Fly ball right field. That will be Donlin who grabs that for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Art Devlin up for the Giants. 1-1 game. Very tight game. Very exciting. Devlin rolls a 53 for a 20. Changed an 18. That's going to be an error on the shortstop. Donlin as he drops that one. And uh, so Devlin is the runner on at first here for uh, Larry Doyle. And the question is, do we want to start bunting? Do we want to swing away? This time, let's try to bunt. Devlin doesn't have an 11, so he might as well bunt. The roll is a 62 for a 12, and it's a poor bunt. Bunt over to the left side, and Sweeney has it. Throws over to the shortstop, uh, Dolan covering the second base, and they get the force. One away, and here's Larry Doyle with Spike Shannon up to bat. Larry Doyle on first, that is. We're going to do a hit and run, and the roll is a 63 for a 32. Fly ball right field. Bates has that, two away. Here's Al Bridwell, and he rolls an 11 for a 7. So that's going to be a base hit that will send Doyle to third. Bridwell is on at first. We had this situation last time, and we hit and ran, and Seymour flied out. 
Now we have runners on at first and third again, bottom of the seventh inning, 1-1 one, one still the score, the same runners on, the same man up. And Seymour rolls a 16 for a 28. That's going to be a ground ball to Dolan, who flips over to Richie for the uh, force out at second, and we go to the top of the eighth inning. Still a 1-1 game. Here's Bill Dolan. He rolls a 14 for a 43. Fly out to uh, left field. Shannon has it, one away. Joe Kelly now for the Doves rolls a 24 for a 13. It's a strikeout. Two gone. Doc Crandall has settled down quite, uh, quite a bit. Here's Dan McGann, who rolls a 13 for a 14. He'll take his base on the walk. That'll bring up Johnny Bates. So runner on at first base, two outs, top of the eighth. Bates rolls a 43 for a 29. It's going to be a comebacker over to Crandall, who throws to first for the out, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. Doc Crandall, the pitcher up there, and uh, these days you take him out, but in 1908, we'll keep him in. Randall rolls a 35 for a 23, changed to 40. That'll just be a foul. Next rolls a 41 for a 27. Ground ball to the um, left side, Sweeney, on to first, one away. Here's Bresnahan, rolls a 54 for a 45. Fly ball right field, Bates has that, two gone. Here's Mike Donlin, and he rolls a 22 for a 7. That's a single to right. That'll bring up uh, Fred Tenney. Tenney rolls a 65 for a 35. That's not going to get it done. Little E rolls a 54 out of the range, so it's a foul out to the catcher. Bowerman has that for the out, and we go to the top of the ninth inning. Close ball game. Bill Sweeney leads us off for Boston. He rolls a 62 for a 12. It's a quiet ground ball to Tenney. The first baseman steps in the bag, one away. Ginger Bouman now rolls a 55 for an 8, and there's a single to center field, and that means uh, Crandall now is a, a D pitcher, um, which might actually be um, important as this game moves along. Um, we're not going to bring out Doc Crandall, and the reason why we don't bring him out here is because I'm not going to manage according to the ratings. I manage according to the actual real-life situation, and in real life, you wouldn't take him out in this situation. Bowerman having a hard time making contact this season, so we're going to have him bunt. Um, and the roll is a 16 for a 26. is a good bunt over to the right side. Tenney fields it, flips over to Doyle, the uh, second baseman, covering it first. Beaumont moves up to uh, second. And so now there, is, uh, there are two uh, men out here in the uh, top of the ninth. And that brings up uh, Patsy Flaherty with the runner on his second. And uh, Patsy rolls a 42 for a 13, and he just strikes out, so we go to the bottom of the ninth. It will be Art Devlin here in the bottom of the ninth inning uh, for the Giants um, as uh, the Doves waste a chance. Devlin rolls a 52 for a 27, ground ball left side. It will be uh, Sweeney throwing to first, one away. Larry Doyle now rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. Two away. Spike Shannon now the hitter. He rolls a 42 for a 40, changed to a 23. That's going to be a, a little bouncer in front of the plate. Bowerman throws the first for the out, and we go to the top of the 10th. Uh, Doc Crandall going to stay into this for the time being, but he's really losing his gas. Here's uh, Claude Ritchie, the first batter to face him. Ritchie today is 0 for 4. Did he reach on an error? His rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back here to Crandall, who throws the first. One away. Bill Dolan now. He rolls a 64 for a 22, change to a 19. That's going to be an error on the third baseman, Devlin. So uh, hold everything because uh, there's a, a runner on at first for the Doves. Their number two guy comes up and uh, manages to uh, get to first base um, on the air by uh, Devlin. And so uh, that brings up Joe Kelly. Uh, one person out, one batter out, and uh, Devlin, uh, Dolan, I'm sorry, uh, does not have an 11. Kelly hasn't been hitting that well so far this season. We will bunt with him. Might as well. And the rolls a 45 for a 14. That's going to be a walk. So he's trying to bunt, and uh, despite the fact that he's trying to bunt, Crandall still can't seem to uh, get anything by him or get him to do anything with it. And so um, that means that there's runners on a first and second now for Dan McGann. McGann is hitting only 193. Um, but I think... I think we're going to swing away with him. And he rolls a 53 for a 19, changed to 16. It's a fly ball over to center field. Seymour has that, and uh, the runners all move up. And so uh, that means that there's now runners on second and third baseball with two outs. And so uh, that um, is kind of an unfortunate roll because if it had actually been an error, there might have been a run that could have scored. And it's just sometimes the uh, you know internal mechanisms of the game will work against you. Here is now Johnny Bates, runners on a second and third, two outs top of the tenth, and he rolls a forty-two for a thirteen and strikes out. So that does it. Al Bridwell now will lead this off for the Giants, bottom of the tenth. 
And the roll is a 62 for a 12. That's a ground ball over to the first baseman, uh, McGann, who takes it to himself at the bag. One away. Seymour rolls a uh, 52 for a 27. Ground ball to the left side. It's Sweeney who has that and throws the first two on. Now the pitcher's spot. So we are going to take Crandall out. We'll put in Fred Merkel. Merkel, uh, one for five so far. Five plate appearances is all. Two inning, 200. And he rolls a 25 for an eight. Had a feeling. So Merkel ends up getting the base hit. Yeah, we can uh, remember perhaps Merkel for something more than the uh, infamous boner. He gets a base hit here in the uh, top bottom of the 10th inning of this game. Um, and uh, that will bring up uh, Roger Bresnahan. So runner on at first base, two outs, bottom of the 10th inning. Here's uh, the catcher, Bresnahan, who's hitting, as usual, in the leadoff spot. Uh, hitting 355, he rolls a 61 for a 36, change to a 40, and that's going to be a ground ball over to McGann. First baseman goes to the bag himself, and we go to the top of the 11th. New pitcher is in order, and, um, well, probably going to be Malarkey, I'm thinking. We could put technically Taylor in, uh, but I think Malarkey's our man. Bill Malarkey didn't have apparently any starts in real life, so he's going to be the man here. Top of the 11th inning, and it's Bill Sweeney who's up. His role is a 21 for a 30. Fly ball to left field. Shannon has that for the out. One away. Ginger Beaumont now. Roll is a 64 for a 29. Come back to Malarkey. Throws to first. And uh, there's two gone. Here's Frank Bowerman. And he rolls a 26 for a 27. That's going to be a ground ball to uh, Devlin, the third baseman, who throws to first. And so we go to the bottom of the 11th inning. It'll be Mike Donlin. Giants have eight hits um, and have committed two errors. The uh, Doves have five hits. Doves have left on 10. The Giants only left on 6. Donlin rolls a 22 for a 7. That's going to be a single to right field off of Flaherty, and that'll bring up uh, Fred Tenney. And now you have to watch out for the Giants because they will hit and run, and um, especially if I'm running this team, they they can be expected to hit and run. So uh, Donlin, the runner on at first, and here comes the hit and run. Rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's going to be a single to right field. Uh, Donlin moves over to third, and then Tenney is uh, caught stealing. And so uh, the uh, hit and run works, but Tenney then a little bit over anxious tries to steal second, which is kind of a ridiculous thing to try to do. Um, and the reason why it's ridiculous is because his run doesn't matter, right? Um, so anyway, it doesn't really matter. There's just one out is the difference. Uh, before we go to the next batter, Art Devlin, we're going to uh, change pitchers here because um, we don't want to let just let this game sort of get away. Um, I'm looking at the game started totals, which is kind of how I have this figured out. Um, it's going to be either George Ferguson or Irv Young, and I think it's going to be Ferguson that we go with. So George Ferguson is going to come in as the uh, relief pitcher. The infield comes in. Um, it's going to be um, Art Devlin here up to hit with a runner on a third base, only one out for the uh, Giants. Giants now with 10 hits, and they've had runners on first on third base um, in the later stages of this entire game. Uh, the roll is a 66. This game's going to be over. And his next roll is a 23 for a 6. That's going to be a uh, single is what they're going to call it for Devlin, and um, he gets the walk-off hit, and that's the ball game. So the Giants win this one at, in uh, 11 innings. This was a really, really close game. The Giants had numerous chances to win it, and um, they finally do get one uh, pushed across in the end. Final score is 2-1 to one in favor of the Giants, and now we have to wait and see what happens to the Cubs. I'll talk to you later. Bye.